praise to my Lord and Savior, which is the head of my life. To the committee, I'm extremely proud of what I accomplished and that you saw fit to put me into the Hall of Fame. Thank you. To Bob Callop, who hounded me forever, <laughs> it's one thing that uh, Bob is consistent in what he do. And if you are uh, anyone in Bristol that know anything about sports, Bob's going to be around it. And when he gets on you behind, he's going to stay on it till you do what he wants you to do. <laughs> I uh, had written a speech when my daughter told me to get up and say thank you and sit down. Because <laughs> she know if I start telling my corny jokes, <laughs> everybody may leave. But uh, I'm extremely proud to be inducted to this class of 2019, and congratulations to the other inductees. I, you noticed on the uh, film that I had, I didn't show very much about sports because sports is past. The most important thing to me right now is family. And as long as uh, this little guy here, you guys see running around here, this is what's keeping me around Connecticut. Otherwise, I'd be down in South Carolina with my brother because this weather is something else. But this, this little guy here keeps me young, and I'm proud of him. I'm very proud of my three children. Uh, they were all, all league, but uh, my, the best of all was my oldest son. He's the only one that really ever got to see me play. The others are so young that I was broke down by the time they came along. <laughs> And I think every time they saw me play, I got injured. And uh, I could see my daughter's always crying. I could look in the stands, I tore up my knee, she's crying. She cried all the way to the hospital. And now she's still saying, hurry up, Dad, and sit down. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm extremely proud of uh, what they accomplished in sport. I'm proud of what I did myself. I'm glad that you solved it to think that I was worthy of being inducted into this class of 2019. I, uh, <laughs> I better not tell this joke because my daughter is giving me the evil eye. So <laughs> but uh, before, I, before I conclude, I'd like to say, I'd like to mention a couple of people. Uh, through high school, there weren't very many coaches that uh, uh, saw that I had potential. They only had one rule, one uh, role to play. That was rebound and give the ball to George Bernard. <laughs> he was he was the scorer. George is not here. Kev Phelan can protest to this. I think Kev is back there somewhere. It was George Bernard, Bernie Corn, and Ray Gagnon. They were the shooters. Art Whitehead was the rebounder. I don't know why, because I was the smaller of the three. <laughs> but that's what they saw fit to do. So I went with that. I excelled after I left high school. That's when I began to realize that I could get paid to do this. And once I found out I could get paid, I played for anybody that would pay. <laughs> <laughs> and I made a, quite a bit of money playing. I think uh, Malcolm left. I don't know if Bruce Kaczynski is here. I probably would be the third highest paid player out of Bristol, <laughs> which I'm proud of. And if I could run around right now and play a little bit, I would do it now. Because back then, two and three and four hundred dollars a game was big money. Right now, it's nothing. I think I, my life might have been different if uh, Magic Johnson had decided to wear pro kids instead of Converse. <laughs> because I was getting my sneakers. I think I was endorsed pro kids way back then when Gary Pearson was in school. Gary Pearson had different pair of sneakers every game because they were given to me and I would give them to him. <laughs> but um, I would like to say, I'd like to mention a couple of people that's not here with us today. Phil Lewis, Jim Kane, these are guys that I played with, played against, played with, and Phil Lewis was always on the phone. He was going to call Bob up. I said, no, don't call him up. When I'm worthy, they'll put me in, because Bob, was, uh, Phil was concerned about me not getting in before him. And I told him, I said, Everything works in its own time. When God sees fit for something to be done, it will be done. So you don't rush the process.
And the last person I'd like to mention is my wife. She's not here. She passed away last year. And she would have been extremely proud because she sacrificed a lot. When I was up and down the road playing ball, she stayed home with Art. If she couldn't drag him with her, she would stay home and watch him. So she sacrificed a lot for me to accomplish my goals. And it will never be the same with her not being here. I'm going to sit down before I lose it. But um, I like to say I got my start in the Bristol Boys Club. And the worst moment that I can remember playing basketball, Mark Noon is here somewhere, was in Hartford. And uh, Jim Abamidas, you know, you're going to Hartford with, let's say, three, two white kids and everybody else is black in the area. And Jim Abamidas blocked this shot on this kid and he blocked it. And I said, let's get the heck out of here as soon as this happens. <laughs> because, you know, Jim Abamidas, I don't know if you guys know Jim Abamidas, but he talk a lot of junk. <laughs> Nobody's dunking on me. And we got in our cars and left because they, they didn't take no junk in Hartford. <laughs> and like I said, uh, Mark Noon, another story I'd like to tell you, Mark, Malcolm Harkaby and Steve Piker. I coached the Bristol Boys Club. They played in Forestville. They were the only team that I could never beat. And Malcolm is not here to hear that, but uh, I don't know what it was. My team, I had good players. I had my son, uh, Hernandez. Garcia's, Matos, all those kids were playing for me, but we could never beat Forestville. And I like to get a rematch because I see <laughs> I see Mal Malcolm is broken down now. His knees are bad. <laughs> he was he was telling me earlier his knees were bad, so I think we might have a shot now. <laughs> so I like to conclude with saying thank you to the committee and Bob for pushing me to to decide to fill out the uh, questionnaire or whatever it might be, and uh, I appreciate it. Thank you.